So DD says, how to tell a guy to chill on texting me so much without emasculating him. So if a guy's texting you a ton, the question is whether he's gonna get it, right? The reason that he's like texting you a lot is because he's excited about you and he's really attracted to you. And so, uh, you know, basically what you need to do is just, is you just need to communicate with him what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And you know, what, what's probably happening is he's, he, you're probably in the exact opposite situation of what, what we're talking about here, right? He's probably messaging you a lot and you're like, oh, you know, like, do I need to like respond to every single one of these messages that he's sending me? And so what you need to do is you just need to communicate with him that you're busy and that you've got a lot going on and just be like, hey, you know, like if you message me, I'll message you back when I can. However, if you're messaging me a bunch throughout the day, I'm, you know, it might be hard for me to communicate with you, right? Like if you're, if you're a busy person and you've got a lot of things going on, it's like you just need to communicate with him that that's what's going on with you so that he knows that you're not going to be messaging him a whole lot. And once he realizes that that's going on, he'll either slow down his messaging because he's like, oh, well, she's not responding. Because a lot of times people do this, right? Like if you respond every time a person messages you like immediately, and then you're like, oh, why is this person messaging me all the time? It's like, well, because you respond immediately when they message you. Whereas if you're like, hey, you know, like during these hours, right? Like during the hours of like, you know, midnight till about 6 p.m. every day, I'm either sleeping, working, or I've got all these other things going on, and so I, I can't really message you that often. You're, you're just letting people know, right? I used to do this, actually. <laughs> it's like, I, I think Tim Ferriss did this on, like he talked about this in his book, but you know, you just, you let people know what's going on with you and you're like, hey, you know, during these hours, it's funny because when I did do that and I, I did that for a while, I just had people like not even like calling me at all anymore, <laughs> right? Which can turn into a bad thing if, if you want to connect with people in some ways, but it also kind of puts things on your terms, which then if you're kind of putting it on those terms and you let him know if he's really that attracted to you, what he's gonna do is he's going to either wait until he knows that you're free or he's going to uh, message you a whole bunch and then wait for you to respond whenever it is that you do respond. And so you just need to communicate, right? And, and there's a lot of different ways that you can do it, but just you know, communicate with him what's going on with you and, and what you need and what works and what doesn't work and, and why you're not gonna, you don't wanna, you know, talk as much as possible or whatever, or what, what it is that you do need, right? If you're like, hey, I only want to talk like, you know, a couple times a week or whatever, because you're in a space where you're just, that's what's normal and healthy for you, which by the way, for a lot of people that don't know, for, for a lot of people, it's not, especially if you're just like, early phases of dating for a lot of people that are in a healthy space they don't really need to like message all the time with somebody 